Hi, welcome to Joystick. In this video of Joystick, we are going to solve the problem of count the minimum steps to minimize n using dynamic programming. Let's see what its problem statement has to say. Alright, so you are given a number. Now, this number is represented by a variable n. Now, you need to minimize this number n to 1 and you are given three conditions based on which you can do it. Condition number one, if n is divisible by two, then you can reduce it to n by two. Condition number two, if n is divisible by three, then you can reduce n to the outcome of n divided by three. Else, you can always decrement n by one. That means you can subtract one from n till it goes back to one. So here our n, in this case, in our problem, the n is 8. As you can see, since 8 is divisible by 2, so 8 by 2 is going to give me 4. 4 is again divisible by 2, so it is going to give me 2. 2 is again divisible by 2, so it is going to give me 1. And that is what we require. So in all, there are three steps by which I can reduce 8 to 1. So we need to find the minimum steps to minimize 8 to 1. Here is another possible scenario in which we can decrement 8 by 1. Then we decrement it again by 1. So we get 6. Then since 6 is divisible by 3, so we divide it by 3. So we get 2. And since 2 is divisible by 2, so we divide it by 2 and we get 1. In all, we will have to take 4 steps to minimize 8 to 1 if we take this route, which we do not want. We have to find the minimum steps. So we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming in our framework. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do so because that impacts my ability to create videos like such for you in a direct manner. Now let's move to our framework and start building the algorithm of this problem. All right, so here are our conditions n by 2, n by 3, n minus 1. We are going to make use of them to reduce n to 1. Since we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming technique, hence there will be subproblems, and to store the results of each of those subproblems, we need an array. So I've created an array of size n plus 1. Our n is 8. So the size of this array is 9. Now the base state will be represented by this cell because we are minimizing an integer to 1. Hence it would be better if each of these indexes represented the subproblem. So let's fill the value of this cell. So when we have 1 as n, when we are given n as 1, how many steps are required to reduce it to 1? I believe 0 because it is already 1. Okay, so now we move to this subproblem. n is equal to 2. So how many steps are required? Now we are going to take a look at our condition. So here our n is 2, remember. So we are going to check if it is divisible by 2. Okay, it is divisible by 2. So 2 by 2 is going to give me 1. Alright, so I go to this cell represented by index 1. I check the value over here, I have 0 over here, I add 1 to it, alright, because plus 1 represents this step, n by 2. So the value I'm going to get will be 1. Now let me check the second condition, n by 3. Is 2 divisible by 3? No, of course. So we are going to bypass this condition. Then we move to this third condition. Okay, so we subtract 1 from 2. So what is the value that we are going to get? 1. Okay, we come back here. What is the value over here? 0. 0 plus 1 is going to give us what? Again 1. So we have two candidates. Okay, which number out of these two is minimum? Well, both of them are same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to populate this cell with 1. All right. Then we move ahead. We have 3. Now, is 3 divisible by 2? No. Okay, so we are going to bypass this condition. 
is 3 divisible by 3 yes so 3 by 3 is going to take me here okay value over here is 0 I add 1 to it I get 1 over here now let's take a look at the third condition so 3 minus 1 is going to give me 2 so let's check what the value here is it is 1 I add 1 to it for this step I'm going to get the value as 2 which is the minimum out of these two it's 1 so I'm going to populate 1 over here okay now if you think it logically if we have to reduce 3 to 1 then we are going to straight away divide it by 3 and we are going to take only one step to minimize it to 1 when we are going to decrement it by 1 we are actually taking one step to take it to 2 and then we are dividing it by 2 over here and that is how we are taking two steps to reduce 3 to 1 in the alternative scenario which we don't want let's move to the next sub problem which is 4 so is 4 divisible by 2 yes so we are going to arrive here here the value is 1 so my first candidate becomes 1 plus 1 as 2 all right is 4 divisible by 3 no okay so we are going to leave it now 4 minus 1 is going to take me here 3 here the value is 1 I add 1 to it I get 2 so both the candidates are same so I am going to populate this cell with 2 okay we are going just fine coming over here is 5 divisible by 2 no is 5 divisible by 3 no so there is only one condition by which we can reduce 5 okay so 5 minus 1 is going to take me here at 4 here the value is 2 okay so we already have the optimized solution stored for this sub problem so all we have to do is add 1 to this value which is 2 and it is going to give me 3 since we only have one candidate so I'm going to put 3 over here so basically what we are doing we are reducing 5 by 1 so that is going to take us to 4 so one step for reduction by 1 then when we are at 4 we are going to divide it by 2 so that is second step and that is going to reduce it to 2 then 2 again divided by 2 it is going to take it to 1 so in all there will be three steps coming over here we have 6 now 6 is divisible by 2 great so it is going to take me here at the cell which is represented by index 3 value over here is 1 so 1 plus 1 is going to give me 2 now 6 over here is also divisible by 3 so dividing 6 by 3 is going to take me to this cell here the value is again 1 so 1 plus 1 is going to give me 2 now 6 when 1 is subtracted from 6 it is going to take me to this cell here the value is 3 3 plus 1 is going to give me 4 now what is the minimum value out of these three candidates it's 2 so I'm going to populate 2 over here great coming over here 7 is neither divisible by 2 nor by 3 so we are going to subtract 1 from 7 that is going to take me here 6 already contains the optimized solution so 2 plus 1 3 will be the minimum number of steps to minimize 7 to 1 coming over here to 8 8 is divisible by 2 so it is going to take me over here because 8 by 2 is 4 let's take a look at the value represented by the index 4 2 plus 1 is going to give me 3 now 8 is not divisible by 3 so we are going to skip this step we are going to skip this condition then we can subtract 1 from 8 if we subtract 1 from 8 then we are going to come here here the number of steps is 3 the optimized solution 3 plus 1 is going to give me 4 I have to choose the minimum value out of these two which is 3 so I populate 3 over here and 3 becomes my answer so the minimum number of steps in order to reduce 8 to 1 is 3
Now let's take a look at its algorithm. So this is the algorithm. It is very much ready to be put into a program clearly self-explanatory if you have watched this video properly and I'm sure you have. So this concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed learning to solve this problem. Do give it a thumbs up. I look forward to help you with programming and algorithms and only for this video. Goodbye.